we see change like every year. People move in and out, in and out. We always have a new neighbor. We have an uh, American neighbor. They move out. They said, no, I don't want to live here anymore. The house is too old, but the price never went down. It always goes up. And we have the new immigrant family from Nepal, from Thailand. They were resettled there because the agency paid for the rent the first three months. And after three months, we had to stand by ourselves. And a lot of family, they moved to another state. And it's never stable. And my main focus for uh, my speech tonight, I would like the new immigrant family down South Philadelphia to feel connected to the city, to feel like home, to make them some home in Philadelphia. Because we see a lot of families, they, even they arrive here, they never have confidence where to live. And where we have seen the neighborhood like brand new neighborhood here is make us like a little bit nervous. We don't know the language. 99% of our immigrant community members, they never study English. So it's really hard for the immigrant community to live around South Philadelphia. But later on, we have CMAC, Southeast Asian Mutual Coalition Assistant to help the community to gain more access, more access to the local resources. We have highest refugee resettlement agency, help the family. And we kind of feel like we have more confidence. And after I worked at NSC, I was hired by School District of Philadelphia to support a family, multilingual family support department. And our main priority is to support our parents and the, the immigrant student, make sure they have better relationship with the school, they have better communication. And then gradually I was one of the person who served the community, both in the community and in the school. And um, I talked to the older people in the community and then we founded a uh, community we call Karen Community of Philadelphia. And also we have other resources to help us with meeting and like understanding the legal rights for the refugee new family here. And it's still really, really hard because every time we do anything, the community need interpreter. And we look back into the school just like everybody else know, the school, like they don't have enough, you know, staff in the school, and the student who just came here is really hard for them.